guys, today is the day. What's up guys, it's Samurais, and today we have a Destiny 2 TWAB at the week of 4-28-2022. Um, last week's TWAB was kind of not interesting as much, but this time we got some interesting news. This is a video worth recording around, uh, worth around this time. Uh, I know I haven't made much content in the last few months or or days I should say three weeks maybe the last video since the stasis video I know I want to make a raid guide and stuff I just haven't had the time to really think how I want to make the video and stuff I've just done a lot of recording or just taking time off you know thinking about how I want to plan stuff out so I'm just focusing on myself for now but if you guys want to see more content if you guys have an idea have ideas what I should do next or if you want to see gameplay of something that I've played before uh, drop down on the likes, or drop a like, comment what you want to see next, and don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel, and let's dive into this TWAB. So, as you guys noticed that we are getting Guardian Games, Guardian Games is going to drop, uh, next reset, which is going to be May 3rd. There are going to be two Guardian Games playlists, known as the Training and Competitive Playlist. So pretty much what those playlists are is you're pretty much playing the playlist as a same Guardian class. For example, you have three Guardian classes. We'll dive into those right now. We have the Hunter. And by the way, as you guys see these pictures, these are the armor sets that you are going to get through Guardian games as ornaments. So if you guys want to pick these up, they're going to be sold by uh, Eva Levante for either Silver or Bright Dust. So you might want to check those out. This is the Hunter, Titan, and Warlock. So depending what playlist you do or whatever character you play as, you'll go in that playlist with a full team of either Warlocks, Hunters, or Titans. Now, there is a new SMG called the Title. Um, it'll be a... I'm not sure what kind of RPM and stuff it has, but there is a perk where uh, it can give you and it can recharge your ability per kill with this SMG. So if you are interested, go for it. If not, there might be better options out there, but that's all right. Um, Hair Parent is returning alongside of its catalyst. So that means if you haven't gone, if you got haven't gotten Hair Parent or its catalyst, all you have to do is complete the Hair Parent quest, and then all of a sudden, and the next thing you'll need to do is uh get the catalyst by doing another quest which is earned by turning in medals through guardian games next this is the emblem it's we're gonna read it the emblem for the player that scores in the top 10 percent will be awarded after we combine their highest scores from each week when the event ends the combined score will determine who made it to the top of the player base for guardian games this will unlock a special triumph and boom emblem awarded so so 10 players are going to be the top 10 players who score the highest through Guardian Games at the end of it will either get Roman numeral Guardian Game emblems. So ranks 1 through 10. So if you want to go for that, go for it. Just if you feel interested in that. Uh, next up, this looks like this is the graphs and looks like let me read this more. We heard you like the graphs in the last TWAB, so we're throwing one in here for good measure to break down participation rates of three classes since the launch of the Witch Queen. Um, the graph, okay. Uh, so pretty much this is a graph showing how many characters are played throughout entire Witch Queen. So it looks like Hunters have the most play rate out of Titans. I'm actually kind of, I'm actually surprised. Because I've actually seen more, I'm actually seeing more hunters and warlocks these days, rather than titans. But I think this graph will change when we do get the new subclass. So, yeah, Guardian Games will run from May 3rd until May 24th. So pretty much, you have until May May 3rd to the end of the season. So there is not a whole lot of days left in the season. So if you're trying to get stuff done and prepare for season 17, you might as well do it now. Prepare for bounties, uh, do any last minute seasonal challenges, 
get any guns that you might want uh do the raid if you need to get some spoils if you want but actually from the raid and dungeons twab from a previous twab i didn't make a video on it but they're going to bring a it's a thing that they did in destiny one where if you go into the raid next week it'll rotate to a different raid therefore challenges raid challenges are going to be relevant next season which is season 17 um next up we have the new ritual machine gun that's going to be obtained for next season they have different three ornaments they have one for crucible vanguard and gambit uh we have three new legendary weapons we have the riptide fusion rifle the deadweight shotgun from gambit and we have a new bow from the vanguard two new two old nightfall weapons are returning to season 17 horror's least pulse rifle which is an arc pulse rifle and a fan favorite for people who played during curse of osiris dfa this is a one 140 hand cannon i cannot wait i'm excited for dfa i loved dfa back in the day it was a very nice hand cannon very very tough to get when you had to do the uh nightfall back in mercury and next and then finally we have trials of osiris news two new weapons we have the forgiveness sidearm and the burden of guilt fusion rifle and sad news of course which nobody really likes we have the messenger pulse rifle and shayor's wrath will be leaving the season 17 loop pool season 16's weapons will be shifting over to the standard loop pool with the crisis inverted hand cannon and crucible the Herod C auto rifle and gambit and vanguard shotgun for the fortismo 11. We'll have more to share about Season 17 when we're closer to the launch date. Nice. So, looks like, other than that, there's nothing. Looks like we'll have some stuff pretty interesting. Uh, for people who are wondering what's going to happen, if you want to hop in, do some Guardian games. Uh, 9 o'clock a.m. Destiny 2 maintenance begins. 9.45 a.m. Destiny 2 is brought offline. 10 a.m. Destiny 2 hotfits will roll out, which means you'll probably have to down and install an update. And then 11 a.m. maintenance is complete and everybody can log in and play. Uh, let's go into the bugs. Uh, it looks like for bugs that are going to probably get fixed before season 17, attempting to cast a Nova Pulse too soon after entering Nova Warp will cause the cast to fail. Casting Nova Pulse with low Nova Warp super energy may cause players to be removed from their super prior to the ability damage being dealt. Antaeus Ward's Titan Exotic Light Armor does not change glow color based on the equipped subclass. Interesting. I didn't really notice that one. Weapon and UI elements may not successfully load when players enter the Mindscape in PsyOut's Battleground. There might have been times I probably noticed that one, but maybe, maybe not. It's I haven't done Battlegrounds since I did the last one and I've done Legend ones. Um, that's basically the whole TWAB kind of summarized in what eight minutes. That's pretty nice. They have some memes, movies of the week, which is kind of cool if you're interested in that for content creation. Ooh, cool tattoo. That's actually kind of badass. Um, ignore my voice crack. Sorry about that. I'm not used to talking this much or commentating this much. Wow. I kind of like this art. This is actually kind of sick. Um, other than that, if you donate to the Ronald McDonald House, you'll get a special emblem, which means uh, this is like the emblem, which is kind of unique. So yeah, um, looks like we got more details about uh, Trials Lab. Uh, what else do we have? Other than that, that looks like that's it for the TWAB. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more TWAB videos or any other guides or exotic quest videos, drop a comment down below. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more content and more, more uh, narrowed down videos like this one, hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have all a good day. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.